The Lafayette Educational Foundation is a nonprofit here in Lafayette improving education since 1989. They've raised over $1 million in grants. They also have leadership programs, reading programs, and tonight we're here to celebrate the 15th Annual Teachers Award. 16 finalists in four categories, elementary, middle school, high school, and inspirational, are all here tonight to find out who is Teacher of the Year. Of course, they're all winners. Let's take a look now at the elementary finalists. Everyone pitched in, people that wrote letters that I wasn't aware of, and some of my students that are in high school and things now too wrote letters. So that was the most rewarding thing, I think, is looking back and thinking, wow, I have been here for a while and I'm making an impact finally. You know, you see the letters, same kids coming back, and um, it's really great to see that. It's a blessing to be here. It's just a blessing to be nominated. It's wonderful. I mean, a lot of nominees were, and it's wonderful to be here. I've been numb for about six weeks. I'm still in shock. Uh, it's been awesome, though. We aren't used to the spotlight, so it's been, a, uh, it's been really nice. It's like winning the lottery. It's, it's awesome. There's no amount of money that you can put against it because you're actually making a difference and you love your kids and you're doing it for the right reason. we don't have enough time to thank all those people but one of the first people that I do need to thank is my principal Loretta Williams Duran and my assistant principal Adam Walker. They entrusted in me that I could do the job, that I was right for the job and they put me in the right place even though I didn't think I needed to be in that place. You see, Back in August, I was 20 pounds heavier than I am right now. And I didn't take a diet pill. I didn't do anything. I went on the principal seven word diet. Some of you in here have been on that principal seven word diet. It's when your principal calls you in the office and says, I need you to teach fourth grade. <laughs> There is no diet pill that has that in it. <laughs> At all. Thank you to everybody that I work with. Um, I, I, I really need to thank Janice Adams because probably about 20 years ago she said, you need to get into teaching, and I said, nah. That's my only biggest word of regret, that I did not get into teaching fast enough because I have so many reasons to be thankful as a teacher. Uh, I want to thank my mom and dad, who's no longer with me. My mom wanted me to be my mom wanted me to be a priest. That's what she wanted me to be, because she said, as a priest, you get to count your blessings every day. But what she doesn't understand is that I count my blessings every time they walk in my room. They are my blessings. My daughter's the one who inspired me, Hannah. We're going to Disney World now. <laughs> and I also want to thank my rock, my wife. <laughs> but a long time ago, I thought my music and Brian would never come alone. But every day, every week, whether I stay at school late, I go early, I grade papers in the car to swim meets, you make it work. You are the glue to my family. I'm forever thankful. Everybody, have a good night. Yeah.